I think you have heard about Bling, which allow you to track and drop your IoT application for Arduino, USB8266, and others. Um, I'm trying to use it, uh, but uh, as you can see here on the serial monitor, that my application on ESP8266 uh, is trying to connect to the Blink server. I have experienced um, the hassle to connect to Blink server lately. So, well, uh, the other option that I have is deploying my own Blink server. So, Blink allow you to do that because it is essentially a open source project. As you can see here, uh, why do I need local Blink server? So basically you can deploy your own either on local server on your laptop or on your own cloud server. So let's go ahead and to do that, keep in mind that I have no experience to deploy my own Blink server. I'm documenting it as I learned. All I have done is reading this documentation. All right. So it said that I need to have Java 8 on my laptop because I'm deploying it on my own laptop. So let's see if I have Java 8. All right? I have Java 1.8 which is the requirement now that uh, I download the release version of the Blink server of course uh, you have access to the source code which allow you to change to modify and make sure you contribute back and build the source code by your own let's not doing that now instead we just download the uh, release person which is already built let's download it okay it's downloaded now let's go ahead and make a folder here Playing software, for example, and let's move the downloaded file to here. Okay, All right, we have it, and let's make another folder for storing the data that required by Blink Server. Uh, for example, I say that uh, Blink data. Now all we have to do is starting the server. We can do that by executing Java command Java dash jar. Let's find the uh, Sulfur jar, and then we add a parameter to the folder. Uh, it's better to use uh, full fat. Uh, um, sorry, <coughs> Java blink. Blink data. I think that's it. 
Let's execute it. <clears throat> Let's see what happened. All right. So Blink Server successfully started. Let's go ahead and make sure that whether the server actually started. Let's get back to the documentation here. Okay, it said that I can have administration panel. How I can access that? So apparently, can use HTTPS, and let's try localhost seven four four three. Okay. Seven four four three. Okay, slash admin. All right. It's here. So you can see the users list. Apparently, there's no user yet. Statistics. No users currently connected. Of course. So yeah, now let's try to connect to this Blink server from the iPhone application. Okay, now I open Blink application on my iPhone. Let's go ahead and create new account. And then I need to change the Blink server address from here. Select custom and put your IP address here let me check mine it's 1.103 and leave it the port as default 8443 okay and let me put my email here and use password let use just password for now or in fact password All right let's start to log out and re-log in password All right I think we have successfully created the new users and able to log in now let's go ahead to create a new project here let's use our boat and as the hardware I will use ESP8266 and then I copy the old token I think that's it alright now I can start to design my application here or I should say project okay so I will continue to my laptop to apply the token to my firmware and then apply it to the ESP8266 board now let's get back to the administration panel to check the newly created user is here okay as you can see this is the new users and then let's see another details here 
another real time statistics a new login let's check the uh, okay this is the ESP8266 port that I selected before now let's go ahead to program our hardware we will change the Arduino sketch in order to point to my own Blink server and also apply the authentication token of the newly created project I will go to this IDE I will I'm using the C Lion, but of course you can use the regular Arduino ID. Now I copy paste the token. And another thing that I need to change is the uh, um, blink dot begin beside these three arguments I need to add the port argument which is the IP address of the link server one one or three I believe let's check the IP address okay all right and I think that's it so let's uh, try to upload the sketch to the ESP8266 okay now it's uploaded let's open the serial monitor Okay, let's try to reset the board it's connecting to the access point got the IP and now it's connecting to the link server after waiting a while it still keep connecting to the link server I don't know why let's check the uh, so far it's still running why is that? well I suspect that the uh, gateway or the access point may block the port which is 8441 let me try to switch to another access point maybe okay let me connect to my iPhone as the uh, access point as this ID and then um, let me check my IP address okay this one and then try to change the blink server IP address which is my laptop here and then change the uh, SSID so that the ESP8266 will connect to my iPhone in this case as the router or the access point okay then let's go ahead to upload the sketch it's uploading Check the serial monitor there. It's connecting to the access point. Hey, 
Now it's connected. Yay! Bling connected. So there you have it. Beware of the gateway or access point that you use to connect the Wi-Fi. So there you have it. I have successfully deployed the Blink server on my local machine and have the hardware to connect to that and also the mobile application in this case iPhone application also able to connect to that playing server thanks for watching guys see you another time goodbye